EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From La Jolla, California and scenic Torrey Pines Golf Course, it's the final round of the Farmers Insurance Open. Well, this is unquestionably one of the best spots in the sport. We know that by looking at the field. The golf course is immaculate. This is Southern California in all its glory. As we check the Sunday leaderboard, England's Tommy Fleetwood is the leader. He's currently at 13 under. Meanwhile, our featured golfer right there to begin this Sunday, currently just one shot off the lead. Time to get out to the action on the course as we pick things up on the tee at the par 4 14th. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. That one looking a little right. Well, not this time. That one's in the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 146 yards left to the hole, standing on even par, looking to go under for the day. Always a good shot in the rough, but now a chance for a birdie. So that's a good approach shot. Now from just 94 yards out, this is second.
a shot. I mean, from that line, it could have gone a bunch of different ways, but it went the way you want them all to go, right into the hole. Mm, not quite on line, and that'll drift a couple feet by. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And the lead will remain one. The 15th hole is up next. A par four at 480 yards. Not a whole lot to it. A tee shot of the fairway should leave you with a reasonable approach into a green with bunkers left and right. That one flirting with the left edge of the fairway. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Now from just under 170 out, this is second. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. See what he can do with this one. His second at the 15th. Just want to avoid the flyer lie coming out of that rough. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. A look at birdie here at 15. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. That's the cruelest thing about this game, Rich. I mean, it's just now it's another shot. Ah, the pace absolutely perfect there. Down the slope. It's in for a birdie. And he gets it to minus 13 for the tournament. Two under for the day. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And the lead will remain at one with three holes left to play. So now to the final par three here at Torrey Pine South. It is the 16th, 227 yards. Good hole with those three bunkers protecting the green. There is that slight opening in the front. It would take an outstanding shot. You give yourself a chance to make a birdie. And I think he expected a little more help from that win. This ball doesn't even get there.
That was obviously well struck, but it came in a little too hot, and that one's going to run out and leave him a much longer birdie putt than he would have hoped for. This is a nine footer. Oh, that is right on the precipice of going down, but I do believe it's going to stay out. Okay, didn't want to let that one get away. It is a par here at 16, and this is going to go down to the wire. It'll stay a one-shot lead with two to play. Okay, well, in for a bogey at 16. And that's going to bring the field tighter as the lead's down to one with two holes to go. Crucial 17th hole here at Torrey Pines, 443-yard par four. Louis Oosthuizen hit it left here at the 2021 U.S. Open in the final round, and he paid the price. He did not win that major. And some trouble here for our leader. That is into the bunker off the tee. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. Good clean contact and a nice result and a chance for birdie coming up. Need to be careful not to take much, if any, sand here. His second to this par four. Not the best shot we've seen today, but when you consider that was set out of the fairway bunker, it certainly gets a pass grade. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. And this putt's going to want to go left all day long. It's back up the slope as well. Sizable putt from 16 feet.
Yeah, that's a good putt. It is in for par here at 17, and he'll remain at 14 under. No problems there. That's a par here at 17, and he'll remain right where he is. This 18th hole is not overly long, 570 yards of par five, and it's straight. Should be able to get home in two, but the key is you have to keep it in the fairway. If you hit it in that rough, you're more than likely going to lay up short of that pond and try to make birdie the conventional way. But if you hit it in the fairway, good opportunity to go for it in two and finish your round with an eagle. This one's starting a little bit right. Uh, errant tee shot here, Rich, but going to have to muscle this one out of the rough. And that's where you need to be, back into the fairway on this par five. Oh, that is a great shot at the 18th hole here at Torrey Pine South. Where the great players have had great moments. We know that. Now, to possibly finish this round in grand style, a long look for Eagle. Eleven feet away. Oh, yes, what a job here at 18 to tie for the lead. And now it's just time to sit back and see what happens. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity.
Yeah, that's a good putt there. It's a birdie at 18. So now back to the 16th tee we go as our players will begin this three-hole aggregate here at the par three. Okay, so back we go. 